Also in Lagos, the State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency has taken its sensitization program to the Lagos Island local government area, where they charge the victims and community members to speak up against the menace. The program, which brought together men and women alike, sought to change the narrative of issues and loss of lives associated with the scourge. The community engagement officer for the group, Damilari Adewusi, urged the community not to shoot abusers while also encouraging victims to get the needed help. 11th LDA that we'll be going to and um, the message is simple and the cause is simple that we want to take the services that are available to the people at the grassroots. Cases of domestic violence, sexual violence, child abuse because we have realized that a lot of people are going through these issues but they do not know what to do and where to go to. I would say that what our advocacy has done is that it has opened room for people to be confident enough to come and report. So of a true, I will say emphatically that we have received increased number of reportage, meaning that people are getting to be aware the more. And of course, that's the goal, that people get to know and know that this act is a crime and make reports to that effect. Meanwhile, one of the facilitators at the program said the prevalence of sexual and gender-based violence is heightened by poverty, among other reasons. Others corroborated his view. Uh, one of the conjure causes, uh, and I, I have to emphasize here, is the poverty. All right, the poverty in the land has given rise to a lot of sexual and gender-based violence. All right, you have people who the poor families are the ones that usually give birth to the most children. Okay, so when they give back to these most children, they, are not, they can't even cater or monitor most of these uh, children. And in addition to that, when there's poverty in the land and there's nothing to eat, everybody is what? Angry. Okay, that anger is usually meted on the mother and the children. So the father cannot financially cater for the family. There's physical violence. And at the same time, it will lead to, it will lead to sexual violence because it starts to rape the wife. And then the first thing to do is to nip this with God is to actually sensitize uh, people. Okay, to sensitize people, they need to what? They need to speak up, all right? They need to what? See something, say something, and do something. We must end sexual and gender-based violence. It's not on only women. At times, women rape men, too. But what we notice much is charity begins at home. Most of our children, they have lack of knowledge. They are a working class. You've been at work. When your child closes at school, he or she will go back to home. Now, you must have somebody at that house that will be monitoring them for you. Hello, my dear. Please, oh, it's late come back. It's eyes shut back. So these children will know that they cannot close from school and go to another place because they have somebody that is watching them. You must not leave your child, no matter how close the person is to you. No matter the... the the connection between you as family or anything, you must not love a girl child to a man, no matter what age. We have different type of people. There are some hoodlums, radio boys. They can go and make or nurse something to any much in there at any time. Because when they finish with their this uh, cannabis, whatever, they don't know who is who again. As the community leaders, we continue to be telling them in our various meetings, both CDA, both CDC, and both division and everyone. From there, I think something better. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.